Alright, so I'm doing a really quick review of the NASB 1995 edition of the newest printing of the side column reference edition with the one inch wide margin. Um, it's done really well. This has done really well. Um, I actually added three Beresfords and a white and head tail band because it came with two skinny black ribbons and uh, gold and black uh, head and tail bands and I just, I, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with that. But if you notice on this one, it's thicker than um, the last edition that they made or printed uh, because we're using a 30 plus GSM paper now, um, which some people don't like because on the center column reference edition, there was a really bad blue hue. Now, I was able to get rid of most of that on uh, the Bible I reviewed. Uh, I'll probably do a comparison on that just from leaving it open in a certain area. Did it for about, after about a month's time, it really dissipated. So just because of oxidation, but it was it was it was pretty dominant. I've noticed a big difference inside this one. Uh, it's not near as bad, and the paper seems to be more opaque. Um, so it could be a different paper, and I could be completely wrong. But it it, it looks a lot better, especially when you when you see me do the other video on the comparison video um, when I get back from Omaha. I'll do that. <clears throat> so um, the gold gilding is very nice. It's imprinted in there. You can feel it. I mean, they did a really good job on this, guys. Really, really good job. Yeah, you can feel that, especially, yeah, really, really good job. I love the leather on this. I like how they contrast it because it's calfskin leather. It is edge lined. As you can see, it's tabbed into the block. Um, but I like how they contrasted this. It's kind of like a shiny look, which kind of matches the the cardstock they have to use here, the vinyl cardstock the, for the where the text block is inserted um, because this is calfskin as well and then your calfskin is more of a matte finish on the outside but um, this would be of course a quick review you guys have seen these Bibles before but I wanted to show you the paper and what I'm, I was talking about uh, let me see if I come out a little bit further <clears throat> let me get a better page here um, so you really don't see that blue hue, especially in, in certain lighting, I can see a, a little bit of it. Uh, nothing near as bad as the center column reference. Um, but uh, in, in most lightings, I don't even see it. So it's not that big of a deal. If I do, it's really, really deep in there. So this is actually, I think it, it's got to be a different paper. For one, it's thick. Uh, it's a thicker text block than the last printing of this side column. And it just, it, it, I would say it's a 34 GSM, not just a 30, but I, I could be wrong. But I do notice a, a considerable uh, difference in, in the, the blue hue. Oh, another thing I want to I want to point out, I did not have to break this Bible in. As you can see, that leather is real floppy. But even this, the hinge, look at that. I mean, I can sit there and just push down on it, and that thing will lay flat lays flat wonderfully just wonderful in fact we'll go to well I don't even have to go to Genesis I'll go right there so it does a great job this would be a great preaching Bible on a budget you can get them as I've seen them as cheap as $80 an evangelical Bible you would want to ask them if they do have the newest edition which I believe they do because in their picture it shows uh, what used to say updated now says 1995 edition and in their picture it did say 1995 edition because this is I believe the 14th printing of this edition uh, 2018 so let me see that's a lot of Bibles guys when you think about it the 14th time they've printed this particular layout and how many time how many Bibles they print per printing yeah the 14th printing of 2018 it came out it didn't even come out till I think a couple days ago on Christian Book, anyways. So uh, it might not even be up yet. I could check um, if it is out. Um, you know what? Let me check real quick since I'm on here. Uh, never mind. Um, it was supposed to be out a couple days ago, but uh, let me just get into this real quick. Uh, lays the way it lays is just beautiful. It's a beautiful Bible. It really is, especially for the price. But I've seen it. Uh, selling for about $80. So it's worth $80, definitely. Uh, good cover, good print. I mean, look how crisp. Uh, let's see here if we can get a 
and get this thing to work right there. Look how crisp this is. I and mean, compared to the other one, I, can't, I, can't, I really can't wait to do the comparison. I would do it right now, but it, it's under a huge stack of Bibles right now. Um, but it's just a nice crisp text. Um, you do have one of the best, I believe, one of the best concordances in a, in a Bible. Uh, the Lockman Foundation concordance. I think it's pretty, um, pretty good, pretty good size. Um, and then you have the back, your maps, which I hope they update these in the 2020. This is really outdated. Um, the maps, they're, they're decent. I'm not a big fan, but they're, they're decent. But they are on that really glossy, you can see my light over there, and it's on a really glossy paper. So you can't really write on them without ink smearing all over the place and, and all that. I did do a test for y'all. Um, this is 005 uh, Prismacolor, same thing as the 005 Micron. I think Prismacolor has a better ink, that's why I use it. Um, I don't think it's as dark as the Micron. It has a little bit of a gray hue to it. That's why I like it, because it doesn't seem to uh, show as bad ghosting or, uh, or it doesn't bleed through. Uh, as w When a Micron does bleed through, uh, this one wouldn't bleed through, if that makes sense. And then there's a, Z, uh, uh, a yellow uh, archival ink Sharpie pen underneath that. So look at the other side. And as you can see, there's ghosting, but there is no bleed through. Uh, it came a little bit close, but it's not bad at all. It's definitely usable to write in. So you have that one inch margin to write in. Make sure you use good pens, guys, good pens. And then you have your book introductions at the back so they don't interrupt your Bible reading. So like if you want the book introduction for Amos, it's right here. I wish that was a bolded, you know, a bold text so you could actually find them easier, but it's not too hard. It's just a paragraph for each introduction. See like Habakkuk, Obadiah, stuff like that. So um, the gold gilding is uh, kind of concerning. It, it looks decent, it's not great. But if you look over here, you can see where the gold gilding is actually speckled off onto the liner. And it's hard to get off of there, too. Uh, corner work, eh, it's all right. Um, you know, China, it's done in China. I hope they change that. I hope they go to Youngblood and get some some good Bibles. Or, you know, what I'd like them to do is get find whoever makes French milled paper, get back to French milled paper. That would be amazing. And I hope in the, like I said, this is a 95 edition. I hope that the 2020 really takes more heed to the Dead Sea Scrolls. Because there's some translations, <clears throat> translation issues in here, which I'm going to do a video. Uh, I've been wanting to do a video on it. And now since I've done a lot of research, wrote down a bunch of things, I'll be doing a video comparing the NSB with the ESV. And uh, I'll show you why I believe the ESV is uh, uh, quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, better of a translation of the scriptures than uh, than the NASB. I think the ESV really, especially in the Old Testament, just uh, does a fantastic job. Because what I've noticed here is whatever it says literal here is in the text of the ESV. So I hope that's the case. I hope that they really take uh, some time and uh, I hope they took the time and they really pay attention to the Dead Sea Scrolls and give them, uh, give it the credit it's due and put it in the text rather than... Uh, in fact, I've, I've found multiple places in the 95 edition and uh, where they don't even have a reference uh, to the variant in the Old Testament to like uh, Psalm 89 or 82... Is it Psalm, uh, no, Deuteronomy 32 verse 8 and here it'll say sons of Israel, when it's talking about Babel, and they didn't even, Israel didn't even exist at the time, because that's the Masoretic rendering. But if you look at the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's going to say the sons of God, and that would be what's found in the ESV. They got it right, but it doesn't even have a note in here saying that, where it would have a note uh, referring to other, you know, the Dead, Dead Sea Scroll, the Septuagint, and other areas, but <clears throat> not enough um, to my, to to me, there's just not enough variant readings in the NASB 95 edition. But this is a good Bible. I'm not knocking the NASB too much. I am a little bit because I hope they do improve on that on the 2020. But as uh, far as this Bible, it is built really well. The, there's no. What I like about it too is there's no noise when you're flipping the pages. 
it just it lays flat it is it is built very nice very nice so I hope this is a blessing to some somebody if you're looking for one go to evangelicalbible.com and pick one up or go to uh, in fact I think that's actually the cheapest place to get one <clears throat> I think they're eighty dollars at evangelicalbible.com and again be sure to email and make sure they do have the newest printing but until next time good day and God bless